Um, but since then, uh, before that, pala, uh, she's already done so much, you know, as a public servant, uh, as the vice president. Uh, I guess my next question would be, what accomplishment of your mom are you guys each most proud of uh, since she started serving on a national level? Well, ako like, alam ko naman usually yung ginagawa niya na programs, but I think on a more personal level, um, siguro kahit naging VP siya, even since 2016, parang kaya niya pa rin i-balance yung paging nanay sa amin and paging VP niya. So I think yun yung pinaka, alam mo yun, parang, ay, naghang ba ako? No, no, no. Wala ba ako? No, you're okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. You're okay. Oh. You're good. You're good. Okay, I think naghang na siya. <laughs> um, okay. okay, hindi ko siya pumagalaw. So, ako na muna mag-carry over. But I think, ayan, nandun na ulit siya. Okay, go. Ayan, sorry. No. Okay, naghang ulit siya. Hindi, okay. pero, uh, pero ayun po. No, ayan. Wait. Jill, ano, okay ka na ba? Hindi, okay. nagmalin ko na ako. Okay, go, go, go. Okay na ba? Okay, okay. na ako? Yeah, it's, it's, you're good. Oh my God, I think maglalaro yung isa kong roommate. So, kaya baka ang bagal ng internet ko. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. Um, wait, ano yung, wait, ano yung sinabi nila ate? May sinabi na ba? Wala, wala ka. Oo na ka. Wala ka. Okay. I think, I think sa akin lang, Oh my god, mukha, mag, I think lahat ng interviews yung gumawa akong selfish kasi ako yung pinaka may ayaw, tapos yung reason ko dahil walang oras para sa akin. Pero, pero I think the last five years, yun nga, the last five years, binal, like, unique sure niya talagang balanced yung pagiging hihipi niya and pagiging nanay sa aming tatlo and hindi nabawasan yung pagka-involve niya as a mom. So while proud ako sa lahat ng nagawa niya as a VP, I think pinaka-grateful pa rin ako na Alam mo, hindi na wala yung presence niya sa bahay namin. And even even nung nag-move ako to New York for college. So, before, si Mama kasi, I think, alam naman ng most, but kung, I don't know, kung nakinig kayo sa podcast or something, alam niya super tiger mom ka. So, I think before, parang, alam mo, parang, oh my God, baka maging hands-off na sa amin. But even, even nung college na ako, naalala ko freshman year ko, my econ my econ final ako parang nagkakrama ako for the econ final and then alala ko si mama siguro mga 2 pm noon in manila so 2 am dito like nagsusulat siya ng nagsusulat siya ng mga graph para ipakita sa akin yung supply and demand curve alam mo yun parang hanggang hanggang doon sa point na yun super involved niya pa yun na wala parang dun dun nagpapakita din yun how dedicated she is sa kahit anong role man na ibigay sa akin. So, it's either sa job man yun or sa paging nanay sa amin. I think, yun talaga yung proudest achievement ko pa rin na, ano yun, hindi kami napabayaan. Hindi kami napabayaan. Wow. <laughs> Selfish. Okay. Go so guys. I think it was Aika who shared on the podcast na when you'd come home from school for lunch break in Naga, your mom would review you pa rin. During that last break. <laughs> yeah. My, in, my index cards pa siya So, oh, no. so naka, bind ba yun? Okay. Oh, yeah. so, pag, pag, may, pag may homework na kami ng morning na binigay, ibibigay ko na siya kanya ng lunch. Tapos pagkahapon, pag nasa school ako, ginagawa niya. So, ayun. May question ng homework ko. So, yun na kukuha yung lahat ng energy na yun, tsaka yung multi-talking. Parang like, di ba rin siya dito sa Twitter ko nung uh, may bagyo, siya talaga yung nasa Twitter na siguro mga 1 o'clock na in the morning. Tapos nababal- nababalance pa niya yun attending to the three of you. I think number one, mahilig siya mag-aral kasi. Parang sa amin, siya yung whether, d- dati nung bago pa lang siya sa Facebook, sa Twitter, sa Instagram, matsaga siya mag, kahit yun, know, mag-aral lang platform, mag-aral lang anything. Yun, siya yung pinakamasipag sa amin mag-aral. So, no, I think, ano talaga siya, parang sana yun siya to always, I guess, give your 100%. Parang kahit ano, di ba, whether, whether yung pag-organize ng, ng bahay namin or 
sa office para delete siya ng response. Yung sa office naman, I think it's also because if you expect your your team to perform uh, to perform really well, kailangan ikaw din yung mag-set ng tone for them. Kasi, di ba, parang, for example, if, if we work with a boss na sobrang sipag, sobrang hands-on, may hiya kang hindi to step up. So, I think, uh, malaking factor din yun. But how many hours of sleep do you normally get? Lalo na ngayong, ano na, pakang sleep talaga. Well, uh, but, ako, ko, kami kasi nakikita namin yung agenda din ng mom ko kapag book yung taas eh. Na sometimes parang, kung saan yung action talagang energetic siya. And I think binibiro namin siya magkakapatid na we really see our dad as Kasi yung dad namin, ganyan din talaga na parang pag may bagyo, instead na parang bumalik sa shell niya kasi bumabagyo siya parang lumalabas kasi grabe yung agenda niya. I think we can say the same thing about our mom. Um, yun, sinabi talaga ni ate na si mama mahilig mag-aral, mahilig siya sa mga activities. Tapos, kasi expectation niya talaga sa amin is to be, to be our very best in whatever we do, whether it be in swimming, in piano, in in debate, and whatever. Tinutulungan niya talaga kami to achieve that kasi yun din yung expectation niya sa amin. And ayaw niyang, ayaw niya naman mag-expect sa amin na wala siyang contribution. I think that's also one of the, one of the things that really motivates her to be energetic sa amin. But no. Um, hours of sleep, I really don't know. I think it depends. Um, but ako kasi I had the, hindi ko alam kung the privilege or the nightmare to work with my mom again dun sa COVID response. Um, medyo intense yun. Ang natami yung beses nung time na yun na halos nag-aaway na kami. Kaya, hindi mo nag-aaway, pero nagkakaroon na kami ng disagreement. Ang dami talaga nangyayari. Um, I was a volunteer doctor for one of the, uh, of the OVP efforts for COVID. Tapos nakita ko, feeling ko nun late na ako natutulog. Pero pag gising ko the following day and I see the tag sa, sa thread namin, sa work thread namin, sa yung last na natutulog. So there was a time, especially in church, my mom would sleep at around 3 a.m., 4 a.m. And then 7 a.m., kapag sign in na ulit ng bagong sleep, gising na ulit siya. So na good morning sa lahat ng tao. So I think kapag may sako na po talaga, halos hindi natutulog si mama. Alam namin na pagod siya, pero gusto niya kasi ginagawa niya eh, and gusto niya hands-on siya. And again, going back to what I said a while ago, ayaw niya naman na may expect sa mga tao na hindi niya kaya gawin herself. So, um, again, leading, leading by example, I think. And making sure that she's one of the team sa whatever work there is. So, ayun. JJ, you have a question? That's, uh, that's Luis Carlo, the editor of me. Hi. Um, um, what's the social media? So, my question. Uh, just, I don't know. Um, what's the greatest um, life lesson you learned from either of your parents? Um, either your mom or your dad? Yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> Parang ang hirap mag-isip na, tamang mga kapatid ko madaya o pag mahirap yung tanong, hindi na gaano yun. <laughs> it's really hard to think of just one. But siguro ano, um, I guess going back, medyo related to sa question ni, ni Ma'am Thelma na ano yung proudest siguro namin na ginawa, ginawa ni Mama. Which I think related din sa answer ko dito sa, sa life lesson. So, si, si Mama kasi big on empowering other people. Parang, for her, whatever role she takes on, parang gusto niya, parang maging enabler siya for, for other people to become the best versions of themselves. So, kung titingnan natin, even yung COVID response niya sa, sa OVP, given the limited resources, they were able to maximize and bring bring different groups, different, different organizations together. And then, raising us, kami mga anak, parang when when she was younger, first lady siya ng Naga City, and then she she was a law student, she became a lawyer, she's a mother. Parang sa kanya, willing to take on any role that would eventually enable other people close to her to become the, the people that they're meant to be. So, I, I always say na I don't think Papa would have turned out to be the, the public servant that he eventually was at the time nung peak niya, kung hindi siguro si mama yung partner niya, kaming magkakapatid, tingin ko, 
I think we turned out okay. <laughs> and uh, a huge credit of it goes to our mom. Pero parang tingin ko kasi yung tingin niya sa siguro sa vocation or sa mission or sa goal niya. That, that whatever it is, it has to be in such a way that it, it enables other people to, it, it, it empowers and enables other people to to live up to whoever they are meant to become. And siguro yun din yung one of the one of the biggest lessons that um, I have I learned from my parents. Na, syempre kami different fields. Um, we we work in different capacities in different roles. Pero in in whatever capacity siguro that we find ourselves in, siguro conscious effort to to become enabling of other people too. Like yung si Trisha, Doctor, si si Julian, um, mahaba pa yung marami pa siyang pwedeng gawin. But regardless, siguro na where we end up, sana we are able to transform our different roles such that making enablers din kami for other people. Trisha. Trisha, you have an answer. Sana oh, hindi ko maubusan si Julia ng sagot kasi baka yun lang i-reklamo niya mamaya. Pero I think we, I mean, me and my sisters speak a lot um, about the, the kind of expectation na hinuhold sa amin ng mom na that we have to be excellent, we have to be the very best Pokemon in whatever we do. But at the same time, I think more important yung ina-highlight nila sa amin ni Papa. For example, we go home with an 8 out of 10 in a test. So, pagalitan kami, or pagasabihan ko, but hindi tayo ka-perfect kahit ang aral tayo. By the end of the day, they would always say, mas okay na sa akin mag-4 out of 10 ka, basta mabuti ka pa rin na tao. And I think, um, no joke na sabi nila yun at one time. Baka sa isip ng mga tao, parang, mm, pa-cute niya lang to. But she, they really did say that, na parang, important sa kanila na maging magaling kami, but ultimately, gusto na maging mabuti kami mga tao na parang the, the achievements and everything come secondary to your character. And I think that's what they were trying to, they were trying to emphasize or highlight sa aming magkakapatid habang lumalaki. Na parang we have to keep our attitude in that always. Um, dapat maging mabait kami whatever we have, as much as possible, ibigay din namin sa mga nangangailangan. Um, ayun talaga po eh, yung, yung importance sa kanila, yung pagkatao mo. And I think yun yung isa sa pinaka- it's a pinaka important lessons na pinapaalala ko rin sa sarili ko. Na walang point yung mga achievements namin, walang point yung, yung awards. Kung yung core mo madumi o masama. Uh, di ko sinasabi na, na perfect na namin yun. But I think of all the expectations that we have sa amin ng magulang namin, yun talaga yung pinakamahalaga sa amin na kahit anong mangyari sa amin, sana magiging mabuti pa rin kami. Sana. Sana okay naman kami. Pero ayun po yung lagi namin. Yun yung, uh, that's what we all, always hold ourselves. Uh, si Jillian. Ang hirap naman sundalong. Ang hirap naman sundalong dalawang yun. Um, <laughs> but I think, I think, sa akin, siguro yung main lesson ko din, well, aside dun sa dalawa na sinabi nila, kasi mas maganda yung answer but I think kasi pareho si Papa and si Mama super consistent nila in what they do. I think si Papa sobrang tagal niya naging mayor. And alam mo yun, parang hindi lang siya okay. Nung first term ko lang ako magiging okay. And then, alam mo parang parang drag mo na lang yung mga nagawa mo for the first term dun sa consecutive terms. So I think minake sure niya talaga na alam mo yun, kung ano yung ginawa niya from day one, yun yung gagawin niya until until hanggang kaya, kaya gawin yung ginagawa. Gets so until the last day, dapat consistent talaga yung effort na pinakapagpag or yung, yung basta binib- binibigay mo lang lahat. And I think with mama, ganun din. So pareho talaga nila napakita sa akin na parang, alam mo yun, medyo, medyo long. Alam mo yun, parang ma- dapat mahaba-haba talaga yung endurance when it comes to life. <laughs> to life. Um, so, alam mo yun, para lang, para lang, para like lagi lang consistent yung mga pinapakita nila. So I think whether that's in school or in work, alam mo para every day nag show up ka, give your best. And ayun, hopefully hopefully yun yung ginagawa na. Well, sana yun yung nasa isip ko rin para sa like in, whether in school or in like a summer job. So ayun. 